Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and welcome back to another video. So I got asked if I can do a tutorial from World Creator to Unreal Engine. So this is what we're doing today. And first, let's create a new landscape again. Just go to filters and make the landscape you want. I will pick hills again. Um, let's make rocky hills. And then just make some variation. Okay, this looks fine. And now we can apply some textures. So just go to add layer. And then we add some stones. And now check triplanar and eliminate tie link. And get a grass material too. Okay, so let's change the height of the grass to this maybe and the smoothness as well. So let's zoom in and change it. Yep, this looks nice. And we have a very, very basic landscape just for the general understanding how this method works. So let's export our stuff, go to export, surface, and then click on Siren height map, go to raw, best fit, little endian, or if you have Mac, big endian, but I use little endian, then go to 16 bit, unreal, and just remember your scale. So this is 138.04, Write it down or something, I don't know, just remember it. Then select Flip Y and you can export this. If you have to export this, you can go to Heat Maps and then to Textures. Just leave it at PNG, flip the Y axis again. And then you have to pick a base layer. So my base layer will be the rocks. So I will deselect it because this will be the base layer in Unreal Engine 2 and we don't need a heat map for this. So, because if we take a heat map, this gets messed up and just um, leave it as the base layer and deselect it. And the other two textures, let's say rocks are one, grass is two, you can rename them from textures here. And then go to export again. So this is layer one, this is layer two and then just export your heat maps. If you have done this, you can just close World Creator for now, but save your project so it doesn't get lost. Now we are in Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 4 as you can see, and at the starter content or just your content folder, create a new folder and let's call this landscape stuff. I don't know, let's go in there. And for now, let's create a landscape. Okay, go to modes, then change to landscape mode. And now at new landscape on the scale, input your scale, what we had in world creator. So mine was 138.04. Now I can go to import from file and select my height map and then just click import. Okay, at this point, everything looks nice. So we can create a material. Let's just call this landscape underscore material and go in there. Right click, then search for layer blend and just add three layers because I had three and I will call them base. one and two and now i don't have materials so i will pick them from mega scans i got one grass layer and two rock layers now you just have to remember which one was the base and which one was one and two and so on for me one and the base were rocks so i'll just import them and two was the grass a very important step is to add layer coordinates and set the mapping scale to something big like 16. 
and then just plug these into the UV. Press one on your keyboard, left click to get this node and just plug it into specula so the landscape is not shiny. Now you can save your material. You can apply this material to your landscape or the material instance. All the shaders are compiled and we can go back to landscape to paint and we have to apply weights. For the base we apply non-weight blended because the stay is the same and just click OK. Now the real magic happens. So for one, we go to weight blended normal, say OK. For the second one too, at the first layer info, we go to import from file and import the first heat map and then click OK. Guys, as you can see, the heat map got applied and our materials got applied and this looks already very nice. Just the brightness is not matching yet. Then you can do the same with the second layer info. And basically everything is done. The landscape materials got applied the right way. You can see the grass got applied too. It's very yellowish at the moment. But you can change that by switching out the materials or making them brighter. And I'll do that really quick. Okay guys, so I switched out the materials and it looks currently like this. Of course, it's not the best, but you can do this with so much materials and really make it look realistic. You can do only one rock layer and then mix the materials in Unreal Engine. If you don't know how to avoid tiling and stuff, just check out my videos in the info box. Yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.